this uh, a camera assistant uh, one of the jobs is to load the magazines uh, you had to keep a constant supply especially if you're doing interviews constant supply of film it would take me five minutes to do a mag ten minutes to shoot it so you were pretty well constantly working that's a roll that's 400 feet of film it's usually sealed in a in a can so you whip the, the tape off the outside because I keep that for using to put on the magazine to protect the magazine from being opened to show that there's film in it and you let that's that's your label for the film as well so then you open the, the changing bag you, you open it up undo the zip so you put all that and the magazine with the feed side up I'll close my eyes then I do it with my eyes closed so you as soon as you whoops open the, the magazine take the film out if there was if there was already a roll in, in here that we shot I'd take it out out of the, the the exposed side first and put that open the, open the open this and put the exposed the exposed roll on here and then take this out and that's a roll of film. You take the tape off it. Still, still with my eyes closed. And at no time my hands leaving my wrists. So that goes in there, and pull back the footage counter. And that goes onto the center center spindle like that, and it feeds into the into the roller here. About three or four turns of that, and that's on the that's on the sprockets here. It's engaged with the sprockets, and there's a little clamp that holds it onto the sprockets. And then just make sure that's nice and flat. If sometimes this is gets distorted, it can rub against the lid, and you get a scraper. And that's terrible on the interviews when the, when it starts starts scraping. Then you hold that so you know where it's located. This is the way. It's good engineering this because you feel you can feel it's closing like that and it's a good so that now I can open my eyes it's all in the dark now so then I can put this this roll back into the black bag put that away and I'm ready to, to come out of the out of the bag I'll turn that over and it goes through there there's the film it's gone through from this side it's gone through it, it's it's come up that that's where it does the step from here to here it changes it comes up in in a loop like a, a spiral coming up like that that goes into the sprocket here it engages with the sprockets and then you can turn that so that and it didn't didn't do it for some reason out the top of the gate like that so that the whole mechanism is that that is on the same spindle as the feed the feed side where I engaged it with the sprockets on the other side so it's taking up there exactly at the same rate it's feeding it from there that's why the sprocket there's a sprocket wheel on that side so that loop, loop stays the same, but there's another two loops on this to change the smooth action to intermittent action. You, to, to change the smooth action into intermittent action, there's a loop inside here, there's a loop there and a loop there. So that wheel, that wheel there feeds the film into here out of there goes back in through to here now that that's how that's that's the loop which takes up the intermittent action so it's being fed from the top and taken up at the bottom at exactly the same speed 
and the size of that loop is judged by your two fingers. It should be 12 frames. I usually get it, and do it so many times, so you should actually, I think there's 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, I could tell there was 13 because of the middle one. There's a frame there, not a... So then you clip it back into the, into the sprockets here and then put it onto the take-up. The take-up is, uh, is, is driven inside with a spring around to rollers and what happens is that's, that acts like a clutch. So that he, it, this, the, the roll starts small and when it's bigger, it's going slower. So you have to, uh, <clears throat> so there's always tension on this take up, take up spool and the, the spring on the pulleys inside there adjusts the speed or, or uh, accommodates the change in speed from the, a, a small roll onto a big roll. And that again comes from earlier cameras. That system comes from earlier cameras. Now I like that to lay flat on the, the spool on the core so I just put it in into the into that little notch there and bend it back and then turn that over so that when when that goes onto there it's nice and flat. It's always best to make make it nice and flat and every, everything in the right place because if you don't do it properly you can get a pile up and there's nothing worse than getting halfway through a roll as a horrible racket and the film poles the, the film piles up or, or it jams in the magazine you have to apologize to the person that you're doing the interview with and you have to stop the assistant has to come in and fix it all up or change change the magazine that just holds everybody up so it's best to do it to do it right so then make sure just to have it when before you close it up make sure those two are together like that and give it a little bit of a give it a little bit of a run you to make sure it's all there's no horrible noises there's a little catch down here when the loop gets too tight the bottom loop gets too tight it catches there and makes horrible noise it goes that's a very clever little thing there it catches on the sprockets and so you can tell when it starts making a racket like that it means the bottom loop is too small uh, hasn't got that on the Ariflex and I did a shoot once and we were shooting BB King in a club and I changed the mag too quickly and the bottom loop became too 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 small no the top loop was too small and so it was pulling onto the mechanism and every frame had a jodder on it like that and it was terrible we, we lost we lost a whole roll which was real a real tragedy so that closes it up and there's an extra insurance there to make sure that nobody that that can't accidentally be that's that locks the the catch there so then you put it put the middle sp sprocket hole at the top there like that you just push it down like that and make sure that that's against the tiny little mark there uh, and that's it basically you usually had a cover that which which goes I haven't got those at the moment so that's ready to go straight onto the camera and that's ready to go straight on the camera like that.